All right, here we go. Today, we're talking side bend. We're gonna help you understand it at a much higher level. Let's dive. Let's go. Hi. <laughs> What's up, dude? This, this one gets misconstrued. Extremely, extremely, <laughs> yes. Now, S1, okay, so TJ Sacrum, and C1 are just stacked up. Would you say you're in any amount of like substantial side bend right now? Not very substantial, no. I mean, they're, very minimal. There might be just a hair of it just because my right hand sits lower than my left. Yeah, but so it's we might not, see like a... Like a little baby, <laughs> but it's, it's, I'm not sitting here going like this, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So right now, I would say TJ is in fairly, fairly neutral spine when it comes to lateral bend. Got you it. might have some amount of flexion, stay, blah, 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 but that's a, diff that's a different look. When we're talking lateral bend, or side bend, we're always talking in this lateral perspective this way. This, but if I just load this way, like this distance increases both in a vertical and in a lateral direction because of the shape of the spiral. It's this. Okay. Now, it made TJ's chest rotate, and we'll see in here the C and T spine will start to bend slightly in here, but down in here, nothing, nothing. So very, okay. very stable in the lumbar. Exactly. We would define as poor side bend would be this action here. Okay, and what that is, is all we're doing in the golf swing is we would shoot the pelvis lateral as it rotates. And now from here, to rescue the club, to slot it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna side bend substantially in the L-spine. Okay, and the, the, health, the health problems with that are like the, the L-spine is designed in a way to go into flexion and extension states. If we throw extension, uh, uh, flexion and extension state along with lateral bend, that's where it gets hairy real quick. Hmm. So it's too much substantial pelvic lateral movement that then def like now we're going to get into the pivot of the spine in the L spine to work into lateral bend to rescue the club and slot it. Hmm. Which again, to show that I would look like this goes uh, lateral and it rotates. See how the golf club wants to go out here. So I've got to rescue the golf club this way. So got now it. we can see where the L spine is bending to okay. rescue the club to slot it here. Okay. So if I just drop to some degree in this like transitional phase, and then I start to upper spiral drive, right? Now I look in here. Now people think that looks like a ton of side bend, and it's not, it's just I have way more flexion state in this trail hip compared to where I was before. See, it's gone here and now I rescued. Yes. So the point being, maintained hip flexion does not correlate to side bend or more of it. Actually, it, it actually correlates to less side bend healthier pattern and definitely like what we want is ideally zero side bend for health reasons in the l-spine which is the point of this video because most people look at side bend like they correlate too much side bend to health problems and they're both right and they could be wrong it's just where that side bend happens and then again thresholds throughout the entirety of the spine mm -hmm. the point is is just in the c-spine and the t-spine you can have way more of that threshold and still be okay like think of like a tree, like the top of the tree can do this stuff all the time, but you do too much of that down here and you break your freaking tree over. Okay. Similar to how the spine is, is made up. Not exactly, but good way to look at it. Got it. Okay. So let's hit a shot here, Tej, where I'd let, th and this will look like substantially like more than what you'll see out of everybody on tour. But this will be just this like drop, now stay dropped, and that same idea of back chain through the strike where you just maintain the hip flexion, like you'll be like old man mode, like this way through the hit. Okay. And just chippy one out there, 50 to 100 yards. Got it. Good. Let's face the camera again and just hug that shaft again for me, please. Now show back chain in the away. Okay, all the way to like rotated here. There we go. So this is the back chain state. Well, if you have the upper spiral driven movement here, you would look more in there. And that, that lateral bend here in the T and C spine is what keeps TJ's head more centered rather than like way off the ball. 
So in essence, like what I'm saying is let's keep this like hip, this hip flexion here as the upper spiral keeps driving there. So this moved slightly, very slightly laterally. Okay, let's do the same thing in the forward direction. So if we're maintaining this hip flexion, as this now goes into, there we go. So see that, that shape right there, see where TJ's shape went in the C-spine and T-spine, there's this bend in here. And then it's like Safeville in the L-spine because there's hardly any bend down there, if any. There we go. Got it. Yep. Okay. Okay. Let's maybe take a look at this from like face on as well. Same thing if you can just hug. Okay, and then show back chain dominance in the away. And then where would that, that lateral bend be? If any, there we go. See where TJ's head goes. It goes more back into like that centered look. Let's do the same picture on the other side. There we go. Now let's see just a combination of both of those like upper spiral movements as well as like the, the maintained hip flexion. Beautiful look through there. Okay, what would the away swing look like? Good. Beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and hit one kind of at that energy level that you just showed. And you're just kind of chippy one out there for us. The biggest thing is the maintained hip flexion throughout the entirety of this exercise. Okay, let's do that again. Maintain that hip flexion even longer throughout the hit. You just stay dropped. This won't necessarily look like a, a tour golf swing because we're missing like the, the energy in the upper spiral to pull you into finish. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. That right there is proper side bend where we don't have this like substantial shoot out of the pelvis and like the L spine starts to get into that substantial side bend. That's where we get into like bad health problems. That's the problem with like the look of what people think side bend really is. Hmm. You can have all that stuff. That's fine. But it's the appropriate amount high up into the spine maintain your hip flexion. It looks like side bend, but it's not. It's hip flexion, not side bend.